No, that's that's someone who's using his stolen property to help out a Christian. Oh, so not that me go to too? No, the Bible says that um, I must not receive anything from no, pagans. How do you know the people you're stealing from are rich? How do you know that when you steal the money, you're not putting people in poverty as you're doing it? Well, so everybody have to live. <laughs> That's a good question, Anna. Because when you guys state that, that you, you, you get someone to send you the money, you're poor, so you make somebody else poor so that you can be rich. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know the financial situation of the people you're stealing from. I don't know. Maybe you do know. Maybe you know they're rich and you're stealing from them. So what you say, what, what, so which part not scam around? It's lying and stealing. Lying and stealing. Yeah, you lie to them to get their money, and then when you get the money, you don't give it back. And I lie, but I lie to them. Don't you tell them that they went, they win something, and they have to send you money to receive it? I had an interview with a scammer once. Right at the barber shop you're talking about. He was, dri he was driving a, a, a big BMW and I saw it and I said, that's a nice BMW. And somebody said, a scammer vehicle that man, don't look funny. Yeah, we're born here. And I said, really? And the scammer was right there and said, oh, you, you, so you're the preacher? And I said, yes. And then he said to me, why do you say scamming is stealing? And I said, because you take money from people and you don't give it back. And then he explained to me the whole system that you call them, you say they win something, <laughs> and then when they send the money, and they call you back or try to call, you don't answer the phone or you don't contact them again. Huh? Giovanni. Giovanni. Block all? No, Giovanni was a scammer? If Giovanni was a what? Giovanni was a scammer? I didn't know that. Giovanni was still a scammer. I mean Giovanni was a scammer. I didn't know that because when I see him, I see him working. He has a construction place down in the... How come have that? I have no idea. How come have that? How come have that? I don't just look at people and conclude they're scammers. I wait until they tell me and then I say, okay, you're a scammer. Okay. Well, me is not a scammer. Me give people speak to her and I give them money. Okay, if you say you're not a scammer, okay. I'm not the one to look at somebody and say, Hey, you scammer, you're going to hell. I don't know if you're a scammer. I don't know. What do you say about scammer? That they're, they're, they're liars and thieves. Scammers are liars and thieves. They're going to hell when they die. If they don't repent. No, I'm just telling you what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, and Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. I'm not the judge. I can't send anyone to hell. I can tell you what the Bible says. I'm recording it so that when I post it, people who are concerned about the questions you're asking will get the answers too. Nope. My followers are 46 on YouTube. That's very low. 46 followers I have on YouTube. Less than 100. Less than 100. I can prove it to you. Go on my channel and look at my views. I can prove it to you. What I'm saying, I can prove. Everton Curtain official. Because that's that. I'm the official Everton Curtain. Nobody else has that name. So I'm the official. As far as I know to this point in my life, I am the official. Until I know something else. We'll see. We'll see if anybody else has that name in the future, right? I guess I'll have to change the name then. But I'm glad you agree with me that lying and stealing is wrong. So, you, wait, you don't think that lying is wrong? Those are not wrong. You see, I knew it. I've been saying this all along. I've been saying, when you ask somebody who supports scamming or scammers if lying and stealing is wrong, they're going to say no. Yeah. 
So you have to know it's wrong. The Bible, the Word of God says it's wrong. So what are you going to do about that? That, that means you will never listen to me then. Why? Because the first thing you said will never happen. Uh, I don't want to bring her up here so you can sin by looking at her. Why? Because lusting is wrong. Enough time. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, no. I'm a man too. I'm a man too. And I would go to hell just like anybody else if I died in my sins. I'm not different. Based upon what you told me last week that you're not a Christian, yeah. Anybody who's a Christian... It's not a sinner. I can explain. I can explain. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 that those who live in sin are sinners and those who have sinful actions are not sinners. That's because you don't know the definition of what a sinner is in the Bible. Who's a sinner? But that's not what the Bible teaches. Let me give you the difference again. Christians have sinful actions, but they don't have a sinful life. Sinners have a sinful life. Now I'm telling what the Bible says. Yep, the Bible says that all liars will go to hell. The Bible also says that no thief will go to heaven. I don't practice sin. I've been trying to give you the difference all along, but you don't want to hear the difference. The difference between a Christian and a sinner is this. The Christian has sinful actions, but they don't have a sinful life. A sinner has a sinful life and sinful actions. I don't have a sinful life. If you look at my life, you will realize that I have a pattern of holiness. I make mistakes, but I don't live in sin. How will you live? I don't understand what I'm saying, you know. But it's understandable. It's understandable. When God causes someone to be born again, He makes them a saint, not a sinner. Nope. Christians are not sinners. Christians have sinful actions. No sinner will go to heaven. None whatsoever. If they are living in sin, they're not Christians. No, once you get baptized, you don't live in sin. Of course you can sin. Of course you can sin more. You won't live in sin. I keep giving you the difference. Keep giving you the difference over and over again. Christians don't live in sin. And then you go to hell. Because remember you said you're going to throw water on yourself and then do all sort of wicked things and then you go to heaven? Come on. No. Of course you can. Because you're saying you're going to do a lot of wicked things that you did not say you're going to repent. Amen. Amen. Yes. Because you didn't say that part you just said just now. Yeah, if you repent tomorrow, you're going to heaven. No, I hope you repent though. I don't know what's going to happen. All I can do is hope for the good, right? So I hope that I hear that you got baptized and you give your life to God tomorrow. I hope I hear that. But what I hope for doesn't always come true. Yeah, just lusting again. 
It's lusting again, man. Don't lust. Don't lust. It's wrong. I'm gonna have a car, man. I have. A, I can do that. Because I loaned it to my brother. He crashed his. Yeah. Yep. No, I'm not righteous. Because I'm taking a taxi. I'm not righteous because I'm taking a taxi. All I came by it was a gift. A gift? Yep. From who? From my father. Which father? All of us have a father. Yeah. All of us have a father. You don't have a daddy? No, not all of us have a father. Uh, father God is our father. Oh, your father died before you were born? Is your, you're still alive? Your father's still alive? Do you still have one? I'm sorry about that, man. You know, you're asking me some very personal questions, man. What's your goal in asking me all these questions? What's your goal? Because you're a righteous man, so you can't talk anything without a state to talk you. Who told you that? As some idiots, you're used to freaky, you're used to like... Wait, who told you that I, that, that, that I, who told you that I'm going to answer all your questions about my past life? As somebody has an idea, tell me. I don't have to give you details. I don't have to give you details of my past life. All I can tell you is I was a wicked sinner before I gave my life to God. And I gave my life to God and God forgave me of my sins. I was a wicked sinner before I gave my life to God and I am now saved. That's all you're getting. Yeah. Only give my testimony to Christians, man. Who? Jerry come? Jay Thompson? He's doing something unbiblical. Exactly. 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 I'm not going anywhere talking about my past life. Not gonna happen. All y'all need to know is that I was a wicked sinner. Maybe even worse than you and you. Well, I know I was never gay, and I'm still not gay. No, yeah, I have to answer the other part because you guys are going to assume a lot of things because I'm not answering your questions.